Well, as usual, the eyes of the mixed martial arts world are fixed upon Patty, the Batty Pimblet, when he competes. And anytime you're able to win when you're not at your best, as was the case in his win over Jared Gordon, that's a feather in your cap. Pimblet back on the horse tonight. Win. Ultimately, that's what it's all about. Batty Pimblet gets the job done. But listen to this arena. Listen to the reaction oh. that people give this young man when he steps from behind the curtain. This guy is a star. He has that star quality about him. But not only does he have that, he can fight. And ultimately, it's about winning fights. Patty Pimblet does that in spades. There are so many components to this Patty Pimblet package, the accent, the persona. But this is a very talented mixed martial artist out to prove as much yet again tonight. So here he is, the former UFC interim lightweight champion, Tony Ferguson. And here's a guy who a lot of these fellow lightweights believe represents the toughest matchup for them. Just hard to know what's coming. Truly a 5 tool player. And he will look to put all those skills to good use yet again here tonight. I mean, you point to the Josh Thompson fight, you beautiful elbow that you landed to split him open. And it shows you the diversity of Tony Ferguson. And you have to remember, he was a national champion at Grand Valley State University. Right. So if he needs to, he can be a guy that has the ability to take you down and just brutalize you on the ground. Not only brutalize you, but he has a great ability to submit his opponents as he showed when he won the title fight in Kevin Lee. And he is most happy when he's in a fight, right? Certainly a guy who loves to train as is well documented. Just the way he attacked the knee injury rehabilitation just shows you his true colors. And I know I speak for the MMA fans around the world. Very happy to see El Kukui back in the octagon here tonight. Our tail of the tape now for this lightweight championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. It's a busy place. Fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the challenger, Patty the Patty Pimblet. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC. Lightweight champion of the world, Tony El Kukui One of the best in the business, Great Herb fight. Dean, is our referee Great. tonight. Well, he has spent much of his career fighting elite competition, and more often than not, Tony Ferguson has had his hand raised. Kind of think this is an intimidating guy to fight. You're not going to out-cardio Tony Ferguson. He can finish you with submissions, with strikes. One of the more well-rounded and watchable fighters on this UFC roster top to bottom. Early connection with the left from the champ. Bogus still truly trying to find their range. Deep now. Oh, how good was that combo? He is really doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. That's a solid punch. That one definitely got through. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, got the kick to the head home there. Oh, you land, I land. Is how we're doing here. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Oh, another dynamic strike there from Tony Ferguson. From the oh, picture perfect shot there. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot made it perfect. Great submission defense.
Under two minutes now to go round one. Ferguson getting works from the top here. These ground and pound strikes very effective. Let's see if he tries to work his way back to his feet. Nicely done. All right, so there it is again. He's been very efficient with his ground and pound striking game. Some back mount now. El Cucu is really pressing now. And he's got his opponent's belly flat on the mat. 45 seconds to go here in round one. He Bottom fighter better move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Ferguson's right back to the full mount. Oh, good ground and pound here. Pimblet's in half court. Oh, that hurt oh. sounds means we have reached the end of round one. What a round it was for him, DC. And of course, the seminal moment, that big knockdown that he will try to piggyback on here in this next round. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how he builds off of the momentum that he gets from that last round. How does he deal with the success that he had and not push too hard too early trying to find the finish. You have to let it come to you as the knockdown came to you in the previous round. All right, so there's the end of the round and on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how Great sharp fight. he is. How technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging. How about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Unable to connect with the right. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. Oh! Oh, my goodness! Big right hand. Patty Pimblett gets caught by that straight punch there. Well, you can just see he is oozing with confidence and not overconfidence, but a big knockdown in round one might be the source of that confidence. Everything is going great. You tend to feel like you can walk through a wall. There's going to walk through a wall. He needs to continue to find the right avenue to land those shots. Three minutes to go in round two. On the shot. There you go, single leg. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Pimblet. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big round and pound. Pimblet's in half throw. Big right hook there by the champ. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. There it is, now he's going to low. Continues to attack here, we'll see if he can set up the arm ball. Arm is very tight. Oh, he's got a strong hook on that arm. He's starting start to extend the elbow. Zip on the submission. They're pretty tight to me. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, John, and then he just gets up. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. All right, inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack triangle. Nice. Seconds left. Big shot to the head. Ooh. Two rounds in the books. 
All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, well, no surprise to see that eye continue to be targeted. Some replays from the previous round in which a lot of damage was doled out. Well, the cut man's got some work to do to try to give this kid an opportunity to stay in the fight because the reality is he has taken far too many shots to the eye and now he's dealing with a nasty cut. He has got to change something. Ready to fight? Ready. Go. Round three of a possible five. Big kick land. Useful. Lead right hand, that'll work. Oh, you talk about mixing the martial arts. Perfect strategy here. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing the land punches, so look for a submission attempt. Showing off that leg dexterity and flexibility rubber guard now. I mean, it's unbelievable to watch these guys who are able to bring the legs all the way up on the shoulders and just control you. Because to me personally, and I'm no jujitsu expert, to me personally, it feels like this is a position to really just slow everything down. Are there submissions? Yes. But the ideal thing in this position is to slow you down from damaging and really just make you feel more in danger than you really are. Oh, great ground strike there. And now, blood is a factor. Might get the TKO here. Nice transition into full guard here. We'll see what he chooses to do now. He's going to be trying to pass to half or eventually get the full guard, full mount, sorry. All right, so good ground and pound by him here. Certainly staying busy and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Nice transition. Once he got him cut, he recognized where he needs to be throwing these shots. And once again, he lands right on that cut. Good work from the top here by Ferguson. Now he's going full mount. He's got to be careful here. All right, setting up the arm bar here. Beautiful setup on that arm bar. Ooh, that looks tight. Looks like it's getting tight. Oh, he's out. He actually escaped. Look, I gotta stop writing these dudes' obituaries, man. I always think they're done. Surprise me. Wow, well, that eye is officially disgusting right now. I don't know, man, if I'm a doctor, maybe I'm thinking about getting involved. Well, you can see him getting up out of his seat. You know, he's looking very closely at the damage on the eye. We may get him in here before the round even ends. Well, this UFC fight is sort of dissolving into a horror movie. I don't need to see any more damage inflicted. You don't have to lose everything on one night. His corner can stop the fight now, and he would be mad now, but he would appreciate them later because it will extend his career going down the line. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. Heading back to the corner now, and however deliberately, Pimlet's eye is in real trouble, folks. That does not look good. I wouldn't be at all surprised to see the ringside position be called on here. He might even stop the fight. We'll see. All right, let us get you some replays from the damage in that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the shot that opened the cut. I mean, just some big shots landed over the course of that round. And he wasn't responsible defensively. He was trying to tough out way too many situations. You can't do that when you're fighting a guy like this. If he doesn't change something, he's going to find himself in trouble. All right, here's round four. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute? Oh, he's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned near the... Oh, oh he's still hurt. Look at that. He can't even stand. For him to set up that hook again now. And right.
Right on cue, there it is. Well, these fighters did not come to play defense tonight. Back and forth. Both, 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 both unwilling to take a step back. What a phenomenal fight. John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Hands high, hands high. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Big right hand there. Oh. Left hook to the hook. Pimblett's doing a nice job there raising the guard to protect the eye with that block. You can't allow that cut to get worse as this fight continues. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Pimblett's cut on his cheek is nasty. Thank God these guys are tough because that thing will not stop bleeding at this point in time. Look at that. Good finish. That was beautiful. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Under 90 seconds to go. Pimlet's back in half guard. He's very comfortable here. Lands with the ground and pound here. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You gotta think he's gonna continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should, Ferguson's trying to get a triangle here. Oh, good technique there, he's got the triangle choke locked in. He's out, what submission defense on this play? He has expended a lot of energy going for these submissions tonight. I'm not sure his opponent is actually submittable. No, it doesn't seem like it because every time he goes for a submission, he gets close, or at least he expects to get close. But his opponent is so on his game that he's not giving him much to work with. He's been a beautiful despair grappling offensively, but also defensively. All right, that'll do it for that round. Pimlet's eye is in rough shape. I mean, I would just probably quit but he's not gonna do that, but I would not be surprised if the ringside physician did come in and take a look at that here between rounds. Well, that was a damaging five minutes. We'll see how he can recover over this 60 seconds. We'll show you some replays now from that previous round. He was on the receiving end of some big blows, and he wasn't moving his head well. His head was on the center line. He was a stationary target, and his opponent opened up a fight. nasty cut on him. Ready. He has got to move his Good. head to limit the damage that he's taking. Well, just oh, oh, massive, massive hook lands, and his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Spinning down fist! Pillot's <laughs> cut has really opened up now, folks. I don't necessarily have to tell you that watching at home. Looks like you can stick a quarter in there, and I'm not sure how much longer this fight is going to continue. Beautiful kick to the body. Shot there looked pretty good, but blocked by the defense. Oh. oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are going to count. Super lands that's as good a punch as he's thrown all night the punch that lands down the middle the one that you don't feel is the ones that land perfect and that one landed perfectly oh, oh. he's hurt now Ferguson's cut above the eye and that blood figures to start to treat oh. In the body now, that shot blocked. <laughs> Under two minutes to decide this one now. Look at that. Recognize he was about to lose position. 
Now you can sense the corner frustration. He has not had any answer for these body shots, and now you see the visible damage. Well, his coaches are wondering, where's the defenses? We worked on this. We knew this would be an attack that they would come with. Why are you not doing what we've trained? He's got to change something, man. He's got to tuck that elbow. He's got to roll and turn. He cannot continue to take these body shots. Oh, reverses the position now. Outstanding work on the ground by Pimble. Nice shot, man, from the bottom. Pimblett going to work here from guard and doing a pretty good job, I might add. Waning seconds of this fight. Might be a submission. And there is the final horn. What a 25-minute affair tonight. We're going to the scorecards. All right, so the championship fight goes the distance as we get you some highlights here, and I do believe the champion will walk out the way he came in as the undisputed best in the world. He is one of the most talented mixed martial artists we have ever seen in the UFC's octagon. He takes every challenge head on, and tonight he got pushed, but I think he did just enough to maintain his title. Official decision now in, the buff has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, and still...